Welcome to Breaking Wire. Please subscribe to the channel and press the bell icon for more updates. Yellowstone National Park dazzles with geysers, hot springs, and roaming wildlife. But beneath this beauty lies a supervolcano, one of the world's largest. The park sits inside a vast caldera, a crater left by a colossal eruption over 630,000 years ago. That eruption was a thousand times more powerful than Mount St. Helens, blanketing half of North America in ash. The caldera is so massive its edges are invisible from the ground. Yellowstone's supervolcano is powered by a huge underground chamber of molten rock, or magma. This magma heats rain and snow that seep underground, fueling the park's famous geysers and hot springs. When you visit Yellowstone, you're walking atop an active volcanic system. The ground here is thin, separating us from intense heat and pressure below. While the last major eruption was ages ago, the volcano is still very much alive. Scientists monitor it closely, watching for any signs of change. Even small shifts can reveal what's happening deep underground. Yellowstone is a living, breathing system, a reminder of Earth's immense power. Its caldera stretches about 30 by 45 miles, larger than many cities. The park spans Wyoming, Montana, and Idaho, making it a true geological marvel. The forces beneath Yellowstone shape its landscape and create its wonders. This hidden giant is a cosmic marvel right here on Earth. Every visit is a walk atop one of the planet's most powerful natural engines. Scientists have discovered that parts of Yellowstone's ground are rising, a phenomenon called ground uplift. The changes are subtle, measured in inches per year, but special instruments track them precisely. Notably, the Sour Creek and Mallard Lake domes show significant movement. From 2004 to 2010, these areas rose about 10 inches, with rates changing over time. As of late 2025, uplift is becoming more active again. Scientists use ultra-sensitive GPS stations and satellite data to monitor these shifts. These tools detect even the tiniest ground movements, mapping which areas are rising or sinking. The ground's movement is like the volcano breathing, rising and falling in cycles. This breathing is a natural part of Yellowstone's volcanic system. The recent uplift signals that the system beneath Yellowstone is active and dynamic. It's a key clue for scientists studying the volcano's behavior. By tracking these changes, they can better understand what's happening below. The ground's subtle rise is a sign of ongoing activity deep underground. Yellowstone's landscape is always shifting, shaped by forces we can't see. Monitoring this movement helps scientists keep watch over this powerful giant. Every inch tells a story about the restless world beneath our feet. What causes Yellowstone's ground to rise? The main culprit is magma movement. When new molten rock enters the underground chamber, it pushes the ground upward, like inflating a balloon. Another cause is the hydrothermal system. Hot water and steam trapped in rock can build up pressure and lift the ground. Sometimes both magma and steam work together, creating even more uplift. Scientists analyze the location, rate, and related data, like gas emissions and earthquakes, to determine the cause. Understanding these processes is crucial for predicting future activity. Uplift doesn't mean an eruption is imminent, but it's a sign of powerful forces at work. Every rise in the ground is a clue to the volcano's inner workings. Scientists are listening closely to Yellowstone's story, piecing together the puzzle beneath the park. To monitor Yellowstone, scientists use a network of advanced tools. Seismometers detect thousands of tiny earthquakes each year, mapping the movement of magma and fluids. High-precision GPS and INSAR satellites track ground shifts across the caldera. Gas sensors measure volcanic gases like carbon dioxide and sulfur dioxide escaping from the ground. Changes in gas levels can signal magma rising closer to the surface. Researchers also study the temperature and chemistry of hot springs and geysers for signs of change. By combining data from earthquakes, ground movement, gases, and water, scientists get a full picture of Yellowstone's health. This massive, collaborative effort helps us understand and protect this natural wonder. Yellowstone's breathing is closely watched. Every tremor, every shift, every puff of gas. To predict Yellowstone's future, scientists study other volcanoes. The Campi Flegre Caldera in Italy experienced dramatic ground uplift in the 1980s, causing evacuations but no major eruption. This shows that significant uplift doesn't always mean disaster. The Three Sisters volcanoes in Oregon also revealed slow, unnoticed uplift, detected only by modern monitoring. 
In both cases, magma movement caused the ground to rise, but no eruptions followed. These examples teach us that uplift is a common sign of volcanic life, not always a warning of imminent eruption. Volcanoes are complex and unpredictable. Uplift can start, stop, or reverse. By studying these patterns, scientists learn to distinguish normal activity from real danger. Lessons from around the world help keep us safe at Yellowstone. Careful monitoring and global knowledge are our best tools for understanding supervolcanoes. If Yellowstone's uplift accelerates, it could signal major changes underground. Scientists would look for more earthquakes, increased gas emissions, and changes in hot springs. The first hazard might be a hydrothermal explosion, steam blasting through rock, creating craters and hurling debris. These explosions are dangerous but localized. If magma rises further, a lava flow could follow, forming steep domes and altering the park's landscape. The last lava flow here was 70,000 years ago. The rarest, most dangerous event is a super eruption, but this is extremely unlikely in our lifetimes. Such an event would have unmistakable warning signs, massive ground deformation, earthquake swarms, and huge gas releases. Scientists are confident we'd have plenty of warning before any major eruption. Vigilant monitoring is our best defense against Yellowstone's unpredictable power. Yellowstone is a reminder that Earth's forces rival the drama of the cosmos. Its caldera was shaped by three massive eruptions over the past two million years, events that left ash across North America. Today's slow uplift is minor compared to those ancient cataclysms. Studying Yellowstone helps us understand not just eruptions, but how our planet works. Its unique life forms may even offer clues about life elsewhere in the universe. We are the first generation able to monitor a super volcano in real time. This responsibility calls for curiosity, vigilance, and humility. The slow rise of the ground is a reason to learn, not panic. By watching Yellowstone, we protect ourselves and deepen our connection to Earth. Yellowstone's restless heart is a window into the planet's power and our place in the universe. Every tremor reminds us, we live on a dynamic, ever-changing world.